It's interesting that you talk about, um, you know, kind of having your materials out there and then letting the community um, figure out how they're going to be used because um, it, I saw that you had, for instance, um, contributed one of your um, one of your lectures that was recorded to Writing Commons, um, so that in in that space, right, which is you know an open source kind of space where people submit materials, but then um, how they're used by other teachers and other pedagogues is really up to them. So, do you see um, you know there's the Writing Commons space where the materials that you created for the MOOC are having sort of another life. Do you see any other um, spaces where some of that work that you um, really put time and effort into um, creating will find another space beyond the MOOC or a place or use? Yeah, I've had um, two or three direct inquiries to borrow portions of the videos. So one was, um, one was an international one, and I don't remember even what region of the world <laughs> it was from. I'm sorry, but it, um, so anyways, they, they wanted um, wanted to use the videos in, in, in their educational context, and then one was from Texas, I know, um, somebody involved with um, healthcare, some kind of program mm -hmm. in healthcare that they wanted to use some of the videos. And then internally at Duke, our writing studio, I know, is making... Um, use of the resources and referring students to, to the videos. I've also um, used the videos I'm teaching this summer, I'm wrapping up right now, as a matter of fact, this week, an online course that's a tuition bearing for credit online mm. course. And it has 18 students in it. And it's a course on uh, composing the internship experience. And so I borrowed some mm. very small amounts of the video material for this course also.